Mayor Price and members of City Council, it is my pleasure to present the Fort Worth Art Commission's recommended Public Art Fiscal Year 2020 Annual Work Plan and Fiscal Year 2020 Fund Reprogramming Plan. On October 17, 2017, Council adopted the Fort Worth Public Art Master Plan update with this vision statement. Public art helps to define Fort Worth's character as a vibrant and sustainable 21st century city by celebrating its storied history, contributing to its iconic destinations, shaping its distinct neighborhoods, and honoring its close connection to nature. During the fiscal year 2019 and the first part of fiscal year 2020, nine new works of public art have now been installed and grace our city. Nationally renowned artist and former resident of the Highland Hills neighborhood, Cedric Huckabee, created the welcome space for its community center. These two sculptural benches resemble quilt-covered sofas. The imagery features Huckabee's signature portraits as quilt patches that represent the community rather than specific individuals. Local landmarks are also rendered in finely detailed ceramic mosaic. Sean Smith's pixelated panther sculpture, called Burning Bright, dashes across the screening wall at Fire Station 42 to represent firefighters' quick action. The 7-foot by 71-foot sculpture is made of 813 powder-coated steel pixels that are each 5 inches by 5 inches. The colors of the panther reflect the color of the natural panthers found in Texas while accents of gold, blue, and red are derived from the firefighter's shield and white from their unique fire trucks. Motorists on East Rosedale Street now encounter a delightful sight on the roundabout at Mitchell Boulevard, a carousel featuring six stunning parrots, the mascot of Polytechnic Heights High School. For artists Jim Hirschfield and Sonia Ishii, the carousel is a metaphor for the circle of life its theatricality references the Jubilee Theater, which was established in this area, while the classic brass rings and the mascot are symbols of striving and education. The courtyard of the Fort Worth Community Arts Center is now home to a series of three sculptural plinths by local artist Chris Pierce that double as platforms upon which temporary sculptures will be exhibited. Pierce tied his work to the original building's architect, Herbert Baer, by incorporating some letters from Baer's alphabet. Look for the first temporary exhibition soon. The Fort Worth Public Art Program was fortunate to acquire an impressive bronze and steel sculpture by seminal Texas artist James Searles titled Vase with Nine Flowers for Montgomery Street. Standing 17 feet in height, it represents an abstracted floral motif in Searle's characteristic style. It provides an aesthetic and meaningful focal point along Montgomery, a gateway into the Cultural District, the Will Rogers Memorial Complex, and Dickey's Arena. The last of three bridges over the LeBeau Channel in Trail Drivers Park with integral artwork by artist Leticia Huerta is now complete. Her bas-reliefs of vintage cowgirls and cowboys, as well as longhorns and starry Texas skies, are incorporated into the walls of the bridge. Pedestrians will also encounter colorful mosaic medallions on the adjacent sidewalks. Local artist Riley Holloway's Remnants of 1965 illustrates ideals of equality and social justice. He was inspired by Fort Worth Star-Telegram photographs of a peaceful civil rights demonstration that took place in 1965 in front of the A.D. Marshall Courts Building, then the City Hall, that led to the adoption of the city's first civil rights ordinance in 1967. The five-foot by five-foot glass panels were created using digital printing, airbrush, and hand painting techniques. Their placement above the entrance doors creates a welcoming gesture to all who enter. Adam Neese's Chronicles of Como is a glass artwork mounted in between columns on the exterior of the building. Drawing from the rich history of the Como community, Neese layered headlines from the Lake Como Weekly with silhouettes of neighborhood architectural landmarks and community members of all ages that he photographed. The artist's use of the purple and gold color palette and lion mascot from Como High School give this work particular relevance to the community. And finally, Northwest Community Park, 
which is on the migration path of the monarch, now has permanent butterflies made of stainless steel and thousands of embedded glass crystals that capture and refract light, creating a magical effect. A husband and wife team called Animalis Works titled the piece, When Air Becomes Sky. Although dedication events for the five most recently installed works have been postponed, we look forward to inviting you to community celebrations of these new additions to the Fort Worth Public Art Collection in the near future. The Fort Worth Public Art Community Legacy Collection has received three new artworks donated by generous individuals and organizations. The Allen Roger family, a supportive partner of the Fort Worth Police Department's powerlifting team, soon learned about the important services of canines. In response, they commissioned this bronze for the Canine Cemetery at the Bob Bolin Public Safety Training Center. Gregory L. Brown, representing the Friends of Red Steagle, gifted this equestrian sculpture of the cowboy poet known for his contributions to the Western folklore tradition for nearly 50 years. It is sited in front of the Cowtown Coliseum on East Exchange Avenue in the historic stockyards. The National Cutting Horse Association Foundation donated this impressive sculpture by artist Kelly Graham of cutting icon Buster Welsh on King Ranch's Little Peppy for siting at Will Rogers Memorial Center's Gate 42 along Trail Drive. Pictured here is a rendering of the sculpture at the site, which is currently in design. Installation is expected in the coming months. Community engagement in all our projects is at the forefront in planning, artist selection, and design review, particularly through our project core teams and the neighborhoods surrounding the artworks. However, we are always looking for creative ways to share the Fort Worth Public Art Collection with all of our citizens and visitors. In October 2019, we launched a new mobile-friendly website, fwpublicart.org. It is full of information for everyone. Here are examples of the home page. On the left shows the four news items that are frequently updated, and on the right at the top are two project highlights, and below a featured artwork and artist spotlight. Artwork dedication events not only celebrate the artist's accomplishment, but also introduces an artwork to the larger community. Pictured here are photographs from the dedications of Sean Smith's Burning Bright at Fire Station 42, Chris Pierce's Plinths at the Fort Worth Community Arts Center, and Cedric Huckabee's The Welcome Space at the Highland Hills Community Center. Also, we have the grand opening of Como Community Center, at which Adam Neese's Chronicles of Como were celebrated, as well as the dedication of Hirschfield and Ishii's Carousel. The City of Fort Worth enjoys a notable collection of 124 artworks that span more than 100 years of creative work, including contemporary commissions, acquisitions, gifts, legacy monuments, memorials, sculptures, and murals. Building on the tenets of civic pride and community identity, the collection is both a significant financial investment and a meaningful cultural asset. Cited at publicly accessible locations throughout the city, the artworks represent an expansive range of sizes, shapes, and materials, each with specific requirements for maintenance and care. The city's commitment to caring for the collection is guided by a robust collection management plan outlined in the Fort Worth Public Art Master Plan update. This assures that artworks are regularly inspected and maintained and repaired as necessary. The city contracts with professional conservators and art handling firms to assure that works are assessed and treated in the proper way. And here's why we do it. We welcome visitors from around the world and throughout our community to enjoy the works of public art in our collection. Pictured here are visitors from Brisbane, Australia at the Red Steagle sculpture, some folks at the Botanic Gardens enjoying one of the sculptures there, the dedication at the Meacham Airport last year, and then you see below on the bottom and to the right pictures of field trips for children involved with Imagination Fort Worth and Fort Worth ISD. So in fiscal year 2019, we have these program statistics to share with you. And a lot of these things might be behind the scenes. That is that we had nine projects initiated, 
artists for 12 new projects were selected, a total of 40 contracts were executed, and there were 54 project core team and community meetings that were project specific. In addition, 28 community engagement events and 192 artwork treatments. So now we turn to the highlights of the fiscal year 2020 annual work plan. The City of Fort Worth and the Arts Council of Fort Worth have a long-standing partnership bringing the arts into our community. This organizational chart points out the relationship with the Fort Worth Public Art Commission, which you appoint, being the body to make recommendations regarding all aspects of the public art program. Now that the new Planning and Data Analytics Department is managing the city's contract with the Arts Council of Fort Worth, this organizational chart has been updated. The current members of the Fort Worth Art Commission are pictured here. On the top, starting from the left, is Robert Lee, our chairman, Vice Chairman Estrus Tucker, William Campbell, Carol Hendricks, Sheila Hill, and on the bottom row from left, Raul Pena, Jennifer Castler Price, James Talambas, and Leslie Thompson. All of them have a great interest in art and design. Some are professionals in that capacity, and others are community representatives with an interest in public art, and we appreciate their service. The fiscal year 2020 annual work plan is informed by the Fort Worth Public Art Master Plan Update of 2017, as well as fund-specific public art plans, which City Council has previously approved. The fiscal year 2020 annual work plan includes 49 new and in-progress public art projects with combined budgets totaling over 13 million. Also included are various types of collection management projects and ongoing implementation of the Fort Worth Public Art Master Plan update, including implementation of iconic artworks. Five new public art projects associated with the 2018 bond program will be initiated. Chapel Creek Corridor, North Seabose Park, Alliance Park, Riverside Park, and the Far Southwest Library. In addition, three new public art projects associated with the 2014 bond program will begin. South Main Underpass, North Beach at 820 Underpass, and Trail Drivers Park. In 2019, City Council adopted the Iconic Artwork Strategic Plan, which was formulated by the Fort Worth Art Commission. The goals and aspirations in the plan will guide the Downtown Iconic Artwork Project. In fiscal year 2020, we plan to establish a project core team and begin the process of artist selection as soon as the design team for the Fort Worth Convention Center is selected. Over the past months, the Fort Worth Art Commission has also developed a fiscal year 2020 fund reprogramming plan in accordance with recommendations in the Fort Worth Public Art Master Plan update. The purpose of this fund reprogramming plan is to move funds out of projects that are completed, canceled, or no longer viable due to changes in the city's priorities or in the sites themselves. The Art Commission recommends that City Council appropriate these funds to active, fund-eligible public art projects for greater impact. Trail Drivers Park in Council District 2, Ramey and Stall Cup, the Stop 6 project in Council District 5, Magnolia Avenue, Council District 9, Hemphill Lamar Connector, Council District 9, and the East Regional Library, Council District 4. The process the Fort Worth Art Commission followed to arrive at their recommendations for the fiscal year 2020 annual work plan, which is shown in black, and the fiscal year 2020 fund reprogramming plan, shown in brown, is outlined here. In both cases, the Art Commission endorsed a draft plan and input was sought from the community in terms of the annual work plan and from the individual council members whose projects were affected in brown. City Council will have the opportunity to approve both plans on April 7, 2020. Mayor Price and City Council members, I welcome your comments and questions via email at mpeters at fwpublicart.org. This is Martha Peters, Director of Public Art with the Arts Council of Fort Worth, thanking you for your attention. Have a good day.